Hi everyone. Today the topic is thermodynamics problems. We'll be discussing about the calculation of enthalpy and entropy changes problems. So first problem is determine the enthalpy and entropy changes of liquid water for a change of state from 1 bar and 25 degrees centigrade to 1000 bar and 50 degrees centigrade. So we have to find the enthalpy and entropy changes of liquid water for change of state. So the following data for water are being given. So temperature, pressure, Cp, volume, and beta has been given in the data table. So now we start with the solution. See the given values are P1 equal to one bar. T1 is 25 degrees centigrade. Similarly, at the pressure two, P two is thousand bar, and T two is fifty degrees centigrade. So, for evaluating the enthalpy and entropy changes of liquid water, we have to take the equations d h is equal to C P d t plus V into one minus beta t d P. D s is equal to C P d t by t minus beta V d P. So by taking these two equations and then integrating these equations, we have to calculate delta H and delta S. That is a change in enthalpy and change in entropy. So since enthalpy and entropy are state functions, the path of integration is arbitrary. So you can follow any of the path. So C P is a weak function of temperature, and both V and beta are weak functions of pressure. So we have to make the integration based on arithmetic means. Now consider the equations and integrate the above equations. These two equations. So here delta H becomes equal to C P M into T two minus T one minus V A M into one minus beta A M T two into P two minus P one. So here A M represents the arithmetic mean. Similarly, delta S is C P M L N T two by T one minus beta A M V A M into P two minus P one. So for pressure equal to one bar, we will be calculating the arithmetic mean values C P M V A M and beta A M. So C P M is C P one and C P one plus C P two by two. So take the values from the table. So here C P values. Has been taken seventy five point three zero five seventy five point three one four. So substitute those two values here and calculate. So CPM will be seventy five point three one zero joule per mole Kelvin. Similarly, we calculate VAM by using V one plus V two by two, and again take the values from table. So on the calculation, after calculation, you get eighteen point two zero four centimeter cube per mole. Similarly, beta A M is 458 plus 568 by 2 into 10 power minus 6, which is equal to 530 into 10 power minus 6. So in this way, we have to calculate first C P M, V A M, and beta A M values. Then you substitute these numerical values into the above equations. So when you substitute these numerical values into the above equations, we get delta H is equal to 75.310 into 323.15 minus 298.15. These are T1 and T2 values. So the units have been given here. Plus 18.204 into 1 minus 513 into 10 power minus 6 into 323.15. Again in 2000 minus 1. So for conversion of units, we substitute. One joule is equal to ten centimeter cube bar. So, for converting these values, we divide this divide the second numerical values by ten. So, if you divide by ten, it will be converted into the units will be converted into joules. So, first term and second term should be in the same units for addition. So, we convert that by substituting this. One joule equal to ten centimeter cube bar. So now, calculating all these numerical values, we get delta H is equal to eighteen eighty three plus one five one seven, which is 
equal to 3400 joule per mole so here the units will be joule per mole and second all second term also joule per mole so finally we are getting 3400 joule per mole as enthalpy change next delta s the same thing here also substituting all the numerical values in delta s equation we get 75.310 ln 323.15 by 298.15 again units have been given minus 513 into 10 power minus 6 18 into 18.204 into 1000 minus 1 again for conversion of units we divide by 10 So finally, we get the values as delta S is equal to 6.06 minus 0.93, which is equal to 5.13 joule per mole kelvin. Here S is not the just neglect it. So 5.13 joule per mole kelvin. So finally, the answers are delta H is equal to 3,400 joule per mole, and delta S is 5.13 joule per mole kelvin. So in this way, we have to calculate the enthalpy and entropy changes for liquid water. So by taking the equations and the using the values from the table, we will be calculating these two values. Second, next problem. Second problem. So here, the problem is. a two phase system of liquid water and water vapor so here you have two phases that is liquid water and water vapor in equilibrium at 8000 kilo pascals consists of equal volumes of liquid and vapor so if the total volume vt is equal to 0.15 meter cube what is the total enthalpy ht and what is the total entropy st so consider here a two phase system which is having liquid water and water vapor both are in equilibrium and both consists of equal volumes of liquid and vapor then we have to calculate the total enthalpy and total entropy for the two phase system so consider the given values given vt is 0.15 meter cube and pressure is 8000 kilo pascal so for evaluating this total enthalpy and total entropy we have to take the equations h is equal to 1 minus xv into hl plus xv hv similarly entropy is s is equal to 1 minus xv sl plus xv into sv so already we have discussed about these equations you can check that so from superheated steam tables so all of you know taking the values from the steam tables so from superheated steam tables for the pressure is equal to 8000 kilo pascal we take the volumes of liquid and volume of gas so volume of liquid is 1.384 cm cube per gram and volume of gas is 23.525 cm cube per gram so now specific volume is 1 by density and again we know that density is equal to mass by volume so here we have to find the mass fraction of liquid and vapor here we know the total volume and also the volume of liquid and vapor phases so we can use this specific volume and total volume for calculating the mass of water in each phase and then we can find the mass fraction for vapor phase so you have to calculate mass fraction for the vapor phase so by using that mass fraction we can calculate the total entropy and total enthalpy so now consider vt is equal to 0.15 meter cube so here vl total is 0.5 vt again vv total is 0.5 vt because we have equal volumes of liquid and vapor 
so we are taking equal volumes of liquid and vapor that is 0 0.5 0 0.5 so substituting the values we get vl total as 0 0.075 meter cube similarly vv total is 0 0.075 meter cube both are same so for the gas phase as already you know density of gas is equal to 1 by v gas which is equal to mass of gas by vv total so from this mass of gas is equal to vv total by v gas because we know these values so we consider this equation mass of gas equal to vv total by v gas so substituting vv total 0 0.075 meter cube by v gas is 23.525 centimeter cube per gram and then converting the units we get mass of gas as 3.1881 kg so convert this centimeter into meter cube similarly for liquid phase so density of liquid is 1 by v liquid which is equal to mass of liquid by vl total so mass of liquid is equal to vl total by v liquid so which is equal to 0 0.075 meter cube by 1.384 centimeter cube per gram again converting the units you get 54.1908 kg so total mass is mass of gas plus mass of liquid so which is equal to 57.3788 kg now based on this we evaluate the mass fraction for vapor phase that is xv which is equal to m of gas by m total substituting the numerical values we get the mass fraction as 0 0.0556 again we we'll take the values of hl hv sl and sv from the tables so here substitute here we are taking these values and then substituting in the equation ht is equal to 1 minus xv into hl plus xv hv substituting all the numerical values we get the answer as 1.3973 into 10 power 6 joule per kg again substituting in entropy equation st is equal to 1 minus xv into sl plus xv sv so total entropy is calculated as 3.3487 kilojoule per kg kelvin so in this way we can calculate the total enthalpy and total entropy for the two phase system so this is the today's video for the thermodynamic problems so if you like my video Please subscribe my channel. Please like, share and comment my videos. Thank you very much.